What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle. So after playing a little bit of Iced, I was kind of curious. It was so similar to Stranded Deep that I was like, what has Stranded Deep been doing lately? So I figured we'd take a look and see where the game is at as of 2017. The game came out about two years ago. The game's been out for a while and I'm interested in seeing what progress has happened, if any. So let's jump on in and we're going to see how this thing goes down. Uh, I will use a existing. That sounds good. I think I generated an existing one already. You can actually create your own maps now. There's a map editor in the game that you can use just like you would use with like any other mod support. Oh good, we're inside of a... Uh, we're inside of a plane and it's crashing. Awesome. Always my favorite set of circumstances. Jesus, that's loud. I like how the objects are levitating right now. Losing that altitude quick. Hey, uh, pilot, you okay back there? I'm hoping those aren't pieces of you flying. Why do you have so much paper in the cockpit, man? We're running a stationary store back there? I mean, I would assume it's not stationary because it's on a plane, and planes are in motion a lot of the time, so... Just things to think about, but, uh... Oh, shit, son. Get to a life raft on the surface. Okay. Jesus, what is happening right now? New objective, get to a life raft on the surface. It looks like I'm going to have to dive, I think. I'm not going to have much of an option here. So let's just get after it. There's a breach in the side of the plane, so maybe we can get back up to the surface from here. Let's get up here. Hopefully no sharks around you. This is like my nightmare. This is legitimately one of the worst things that could ever happen to me in life. Like, I am legit terrified of what's happening. Was there an explodey? What happened? Am I dead? Do I get to go see the Jeebus or the Buddha or whoever now? Hello? Oh, cool. I'm inside of a life raft and I'm wearing tattered pants. We can actually see ourselves now. It looks kind of like Lewis's legs from uh, Left 4 Dead. That's what it reminds me of. Okay, well, having a look around, it looks like they've added new foliage to the game. It looks like you can see a little bit further off in the distance. The islands don't look much larger than they used to be. Uh, is there like a... Oh, I just, I have a paddle now. That's good. Okay. You just have to pick up the paddle and do stuff with the paddle. So, survival watch. Does that still work the way that it used to? I can press C to open the crafting menu. Let's go have a look at this little island over here. Little island in the sun. Ooh, little island. When are we done? Alright, so we got a little island in the sun over here. Uh, our raft will hopefully stay parked. I put on the parking brake, so I'm hoping that's good enough. We open up with C to get to the crafting menu. This looks all new. It looks much nicer than it used to look. It's looking pretty pretty right now, actually. They've cleaned that up pretty nicely. We can make clay water bottles and bricks and stuff of that nature. Man, we've got all kinds of primitive stuff we can do. We can make shelters. We've got furniture, so we can make, like, hooks, wood shelves. Okay, so there's some new stuff in here, and I'm assuming we'll unlock a little bit more later on. I'll grab a tarpaulin for sure. That seems pretty useful. Our backpack is right here. So we've got a stick right there. Oh, it's got like a little, okay. It's got a rotary menu or like a radial menu or whatever you want to call it. And then it looks like we can carry stuff now too, although I don't know how we put it down. I can look at my survival watch. It's 9, about 10 o'clock on April the 3rd. It's 80 degrees outside, which isn't too bad. Definitely survivable. As far as survival watch goes, okay, it still works the way that I consider, I remember it working we got a mineable resource right here. My question is, how the hell do I drop this thing that I've picked up with the Q key? So I'm going to assume that that's part of, like, the raft building mechanic that was in the last time I checked out the game. I played this game about a year or two ago, and when I played it... Can I swing this? Can I hit stuff with this? No, I cannot. Alright, well, we don't have mineable resources just yet. So we got mineable, our mineable resources right there. We've got a young palm tree on that side. Do I have anything else? Oh, I don't want to do that here. Give me that back. So inside of here, I've got a rock. What can I do with some of the stuff? Because I need tools right now. I need tools very badly. So I can make a hook for fishing. Okay, that's something to consider. We can also do wood shelving. That's not what I want at all. So a stone tool. I need two rocks for a stone tool. So let's go find ourselves another rock so that we can make like a little flint napped like chip tool over here. Not chip tunes. We're not going to be up on the island like like in like 16 bit or anything like that. I don't see any other rocks around though. I think this might be like our only rock. Hmm. Oh, nope, there's a rock over here. We got rocks over here. All right, so we should be all right. We just got to take a couple of these rocks and bang them against each other. And this is actually a surprisingly difficult technique. This is a tough one to do. You'd be surprised. So we've got a stone tool now. I dropped my other rock. 
And if we've got the stone tool, let's have a look here. A small hard rock can be used as a cutting device when desperate. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So I need lashings. So if I can go in on this palm tree, there it is. So we've got fibrous leaves right there. Oh, we've got a yucca plant over on this. Is that the yucca or is this the yucca right here? I don't know what I'm actively looking at at the moment. This is the yucca. Okay, so yucca is a tremendously useful. Natives used to use this for making all kinds of lashings and stuff like that. And so if we can refine our knife design, I think we'll be in much better shape. There we go. Yucca's all taken care of. We've got a lashed fiber over here, so it looks like they've actually condensed that. The fibrous leaves and the palm fronds used to be different things, and it now looks like they're sort of one and the same. Now that I have this stuff going on, what can I do here? So if I refine my knife, I need a lashing. I can make a lashing now, because I have four of those. And now that I've made the lashing, I can make the refined knife which is obviously a little bit better than what we had going on previously. It's ugly, but my hope is that it'll get the job done. We'll go ahead and nail down some of this stuff. As I understand it, you can get sunburned and like other things can go wrong now inside of the game. I'm not going to chop down a tree or anything like that. It's actually surprisingly difficult without a lanyard ring. A uh, lanyard ring, if you don't know what a lanyard ring is, essentially it's a little ring that allows you to take fibers and weave them around each other to make yourself rope. Surprisingly difficult to do by hand. It's doable. It's a pain in the ass and it's tedious as all hell. Especially if you're trying to do other stuff and get things done. But I'm thinking I'm just gonna I'm gonna take everything this island has got and then we'll figure out what we want to do a little bit later. We've got birds flying around, very, very beautiful. We got some more lashings. It wants me to do what right now? So we can make refined axes. We need leather for that. Oh, we can make a crude axe. I'm going to say a crude axe is probably a good idea. Let's go ahead and condense some of the stuff that we have going on into lashings because I've picked up a bunch of those already. So there we go. We've got enough for a couple of lashings. I've dropped my knife. For whatever reason, I keep it in the Q key. It's because I've been playing uh, Iced, which the Q key opens the radio menu in Iced. All right, so we've got fibrous leaves. We've got some lashings. We've got some rocks. Next suggestion would be that we make another stone tool. So there it is. Another stone tool has been created. Damn it. I, it's going to take me a while to get over this. I can tell already. And now that we've got the stone tool, we can make a crude axe if we can get another chip out of here. And so let's have a look around for rocks, and if we can find those, I think we'll be in solid shape. Okay, so we got another rock over here. I will take you. We've also got a separate tarpaulin on this side, and I'm okay with that. I'm going to grab the tarp because I think we're going to be able to utilize that later on. As far as other rocks go, this island, while being incredibly rocky, doesn't have ones that are, like, right for what I'm looking for. And so, unfortunately, I think we may be up a little bit of the river Odukey before we can get anything else done. I will take that tarp. Uh, as far as this goes, we've got two of those. Okay. Uh, we do have two rocks, so I think we can make another rock chip. So there we go. We've made a stone tool. Now that we have two stone tools, we can make a crude axe, which is even better. I'm thinking we lop down some trees. We should be able to do something over here. But it looks like there's a lot of flotsam laying around. Like, if you look out right there, there's like a barrel. I don't know if that's useful to me at all. It's been a long time since i played this game, so I wouldn't know. With the islands we have around, we don't have anything that looks particularly mountainous, but I'm thinking that island right there looks like something that's probably better for our long-term safety. So you know what? I'm going to set out. There's also a boat over here on the ground that's got me kind of interested. I may go over here and just have a look at it. Hopefully we don't end up with any, any sharky things happening on this side, but it plays music when there's sharks, so I'm pretty sure we don't have to worry about that. Uh, can I just grab that, or do I have to, like, smack it? Apparently, I gotta smack it. I don't know. Am I wounded right now? I hope I'm not wounded. Let's have a look at... Oh, there's a lionfish right there. Stay the hell away from that. That lionfish is trouble. We don't want to mess with that at all. And then I will empty my hands on out. Let's just have a look at this sunken wreck right here and see if anything has changed from the last time. Dude, there are lionfish everywhere. This is all bad. I do not support this aspect of my life one tiny bit. Lionfish, not good in a survival situation. You step on one of those little bastards, you're going to be having the time of your life. And by time of your life, I mean reeling in pain and not feeling super great. Uh, so far, I don't really see anything down here. Uh, we've got a locker there with a fuel tank, a backpack. I'll take you and you, and then we'll do our best to get out of here. Hopefully, I don't ingest too much water. It looks as though they've made you quite a bit worse at swimming since the last time I played the game. Hopefully that didn't neglect my health too much. Oh, it did hurt. It did hurt. How are we looking on backpack space? Terrible. 
so let's just not concern ourselves any further. I mean, I could dig around a little bit further on this boat right here, but given the... Oh, there's a stingray, too. Hello, little stingray. How you doing, sea pancake? You doing good? I call them sea pancakes. Surf waffles. You gotta chill with the surf waffles, man. Surf waffle. He is a surf waffle. Oh, there's another boat over here. This one's got an easily accessible crate. Can I get up inside of there? Uh, we got some cloth. We've got a label maker. I mean, the label maker is fun for shenanigans, but I don't need it right now. Like, the label maker just gives me an excuse to put, like, penis on everything and just be like, yep, this is now the uh, box of... It just says penis on my box. That's right. I did it. What are you going to do? There ain't no authority out here that can stop me. Ooh. We got shark music. Oh, there he is right there. Yeah. Sneaky little bastard almost got me. Sneaky little bastard almost got me. So it wants me to craft a campfire. I'm just going to go along with this because why not? Is it a structure? So a campfire. It takes four sticks in order to have a campfire. We don't have sticks. But we do have an axe and we do have trees. And as far as everything I know in life, one should lead to the other. So there we go. Let's see what we can get out of here. I can hold jump to climb this thing. No, thank you. I think I'm solid. Looks like they got rid of the chopping mechanic that actually, like, slowly chisels away at the tree. I wonder why they did that. If it was, like, a drain on memory resources, or what happened there? I mean, you used to actually chisel, like, a chunk out of the tree. And as you chiseled a chunk out of the tree, it would slowly start to lean, and then it would fall. I wonder why they did that. Is this working? Good lord. Oh, there it goes. I guess I had the angle wrong or something. Hopefully it didn't use up a bunch of my durability, because it appears to be working now. The previous system looks like it's still in play. Oh, coconuts. Cool. I'll take those. Yeah. I'll get some coconuts. Absolutely. So with the coconuts, I'm going to have to bust those things open to get some food and some water resources. But for now, it's nice to know that I'm at least slightly provided for, for the future before things get any gnarlier. I don't know that this is working. Well, it sounds like it is. I think you just gotta aim at the right spots. So this has definitely gotten a tad more difficult since the last time I played. There we go. So now we got this chunk right here. Come on, break into sticks, bitch. Do what I want you to do. There we go, finally. Now we got access to some stick. Now we got access to some stick. Uh, the other thing that I would suggest is maybe that we whack one of these crabs over here. There we go. Get him all served up in just a minute. In fact, I'll do my campfire right here. Because why not? Uh, we got a craft kindling now, which is something that I don't actually think that I might have access to. Uh, kindling in general, ah, it's going to take even more sticks to do the kindling. Okay, well, why'd you use a... Genius over here. Why'd you use up all your sticks making the campfire, bro? Alright, so we'll grab that right there. And hopefully... Are you going to... Hey, it whittled. All right, yeah, you just gotta aim at the right spot, it looks like. It looks like it's gotten a little bit more finicky about where you can aim at. And then with our campfire over here, which is kind of on the side of the island. I'm probably gonna go to the big island over there next, but... For this one, for right now, I think we're in okay shape. Oh, uh, yeah, make a... Use the kindling on the campfire to light it. Okay, well, I'm full up on inventory right now, so... Why won't it let me pick up kindling? Is my backpack, like, totally overloaded? Here, we can build an engine if we can get that part done right there. Now I can pick it up. Okay, so... Ah, we're doing it the old snake move style. Yep, you gotta do the itsy bitsy spider technique. The itsy bitsy spider started a big ass fire. He was a pyro, it brought society ire. There we go, finally worked. Alright, so I'm gonna take the bundle of kindling over here. Use a knife on a crab to skin it. I don't think you need to clean a crab. It looks like I just committed seppuku, I'll be honest with you. It looks like I just basically gutted myself. I took a stake out of myself. And then we can go drop Q and drag the meat. Okay. Alright, I get what they want to do. So let me get my knife back here. And then we've got that little tiny meat right there. And let's say that I take that. Come on. Is it working? 
Does it look like it's cooked? It doesn't look very cooked to me. I'm just going to leave it right there. Oh, good. It didn't fall off. Even better. It still does that levitate thing in the air that it used to do. I've also got access to coconuts, and I can bust those open with an axe, no problem. You can open a coconut with your hands and with your teeth. Hawaiian people, we've got coconuts down, man. We've got coconuts down. We got that shit covered. We know exactly how it goes with coconuts. Hey, 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 hey. Don't roll off into the ocean, damn it. Is, uh, with the small meat, is that done? Or, like, how long is that gonna take? I wonder if it still does the ding thing. It used to go ding when it was done, and I don't know if it do that anymore. Coconuts, be good. All right, so coconuts are doing their thing. We'll grab the crude axe here. Let's see if maybe... Yeah, as I recall, we can drink it, which is actually what we need right now. So we've already knocked a hole in the coconut. You pop a hole in the coconut and drink it all up. Pop a hole in the coconut. So this is a empty drinkable coconut. Is that finished yet? Let me take a look at it in the inventory and see. Does it look cookificated? I mean, it's been on the fire for a while, so... My hope would be that it would not murder me when I use it. And then with coconuts, the nice thing about those is you can actually bust these open a second time for a meal later on. You can also throw them up in the air. At least you used to be able to. Like that right there. The downshot to that technique is you occasionally launch them into the ocean and lose out on being able to eat some food. So stuff to think about. Uh, with the campfire, I don't know how badly craft a shelter to save your progress. Okay, well, we'll get a shelter going, I guess. I mean, I don't really want a shelter right now. So with the shelter, I need a lashing, I need sticks, and I need palm fronds. Okay. Does that count as a palm frond? Is that going to do it for me? I do like the way this game is not absurdly, obsessively dark. Makes me pretty happy. Let's knock this tree over, and I'll drag it back up to where I need it to go, and then we'll get it all processed. There we go. Using our muscular body to move this tree. I need these palm fronds. So I'm going to go after the palm bunch first. I think it will be the most useful to me. So palm bunch, please. Give me your goodness. There it is. Now we got our goodness. So we'll grab all of this stuff. That should get us there at least kind of. And then we'll chop up this trunk and that'll give us some twigs. So we can throw just like a makeshift shelter down next to the fire so that we can survive perfectly fine without anything going wrong. I do like how they've added like a basic tutorial in here so that you don't spend like 30 minutes running around like dying over and over again. Trying to figure out the basic mechanics. That's cool. I'm fine with following the tutorial. I mean, we'll see what goes on with it. I want to build an engine as soon as possible. The engine was in the game the last time I played. But it wasn't like fully fleshed out and I'm interested to see how that goes. Uh, we got enough for a shelter. I don't know how I rotate. How do I rotate? Is it like R or something? Oh, I think I just rotate like that. I just pull it around where I want it to go. So I'm going to put the... There we go. We got a shelter. So there it is. I will save. And then I shall sleep until manana. And now that we have slept till manana, how are we looking on... Okay, so food resources are looking a little bit light. Did we get any coconuts from this tree when it fell over? I don't think that we did. I'm going to start ditching some of the less useful stuff over here by the fire. Stuff like the tarps, I'm not going to worry about. I'm not saying that tarps are not useful, but they're not immediately useful for right now. I'm going to eat a coconut piece. Probably want to stay away from coconuts in general, eating them every single day and drinking coconut milk every single day. It's a great way to give yourself diarrhea and end up dehydrated. Alright, so let's find... I don't know if there's any coconuts in this tree... This tree looks pretty healthy. It's a tad dark, though. I might just sleep again. I don't know. Can I sleep again? Is that something that I'm allowed to do? You can't sleep again so soon. All right, you got me, game. I just wanted it to be daytime so that it wouldn't be so damn dark anymore. I know there's some snakes out here hiding in the darkness trying to get at me. I don't think I'm going to climb a tree right now because... Yeah, climbing a tree right now seems like a bad plan if I want to survive long term. Hey, there's a coconut, though. I'll take those. For sure, I'll take those. Let's head back to our shelter real quick, and I'll throw in, uh... Shelter, where are you at? There you are. Can't see where the dam right now. Now that we got some daylight, we can get back to playing the game here. So I guess I was kind of wrong about it being dark enough for me to work here. I need to bust these open for some coconut milk. 
There it is, coconut milk. If it's not your favorite thing, this would be a rough survival situation for you if you're not a fan of coconut. It can be rough. There we go. We drank some coconut milk. That'll help us get a little bit more rehydrated. I could be encouraged to drop these on the ground and then also turn them into a foodstuff before too long. So we'll go ahead and bust these open. There it is. Couple coconut halves. Calorie rich. Got lots of oils and stuff that the body needs. And so pretty good food source, all things considered. All things considered, a pretty good food source. I wouldn't worry about it too much. We gotta stock that back up with sticks, I think, in order for it to work. I will leave sticks over here for now. Wherever they end up. I will leave our food over here for right now. Wherever they end up as well. And we've got an okay grip. Now, what did it want me to do? It wanted me to do a hammer next. Okay, let's make it hammer time. I need more rocks for that, though, and we are out of rocks. Something, and it's time for us to go to a new island. Let's get that underway. I don't know where our raft ended up. I think it was back on this side of the island. But until we find a location where we can get more rocks, I don't think we're going to be doing much. Uh, raft? Where did you go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Raft pulled over to this side. I got scared for a minute. I got scared for a minute. I got a scared this. I'm going to interact with this, and I'm going to paddle my stupid ass. Uh, set a heading. Set a course. The fog rolls in, but it shall not dissuade us from our righteous adventure. So in order to make a rock, or I'm sorry, in order to make hammers, I need more rocks. We're going to go to this island over here. I've got no compass or anything right now, so this may lead to issues over the long term, but hell, what are you going to do? You got to do what you got to do. Oh, good, a shark's coming. That'll be fun to deal with. Okay, so we're coming up on our little island right here. I'm hoping... I don't know what stuff I kept in my inventory. I still got my knife and my axe, and those are really the only two that matters. Shark was given pretty good trace this entire time, and it seems like they've changed the way the swells work as well. Uh, definitely feels a tiny bit rockier when you're trying to sail in between locations. But this spot's looking solid. I got a couple of ships over here that are looking pretty attractive to me. I mean, I'm not much of one for ship attraction. Oh, they've added, like, rock formations and stuff. That's kind of cool. I haven't played the game since they added that sort of thing, so I don't really know what I'm even looking at anymore. Hopefully we can get ourselves all nice and settled in. I'm hoping you guys will like this playthrough. I like Stranded Deep. Stranded Deep, the problem with Stranded Deep for me is just the updates seem very, very slow for it. And so, like, i got to check in it, like, once a year for there actually to be any real tangible changes in the way that the game functions. I'm going to leave the boat right here because... Yeah, our island's pretty far off in the distance right there. But we need rocks. We need rocks badly. Oh, shit, it's a pig. Is there, like, hunting in the game now? Oh, my God. So we've got rocks. We've got rocks for days right now, which is great. That works out pretty well for us. Looking at the crafting menu, we already have the stuff that it takes to make the crude hammer. So there it is. We should be able to build some stuff now. I've also got corrugated scrap that it looks like I can bring with me. I think that's for the ship building. I played this game a while back, and you were able to use scrap to build ships or something like that. And so we'll see how this goes. I don't know if you can escape yet. There used to be a plane that would fly overhead, but it was never quite useful. Like, the plane was there, and the plane did plane-like things, but... It's a flare gun. Could save your life or scare away predators. Ooh, a compass. Yes, please. Jerry can and a flare gun. I will take all of those. Those all sound great to me. I've got no complaints along that front. That should, however, fill out our backpack pretty heavily. I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of room left for any other survival stuff. The compass is incredibly important in this game. If you've never played the game before, the compass is going to allow you to... F I'm going to climb this tree right here, even though I know I'm going to regret it. Please don't slip and fall. Uh, looks like I climbed up the wrong side. Let me climb back down. Luckily, this guy's got hands and feet like a spider monkey, so good for him. Good climbing skill as always. Is that a snake? What the hell is that? Definitely sounds like a snake. Oh shit, there's a rattlesnake under that rock right there. Crazy. That was something I definitely didn't expect to run out to here in the tropics, but I guess it's a possibility. Anytime you start messing around with nature, there's a chance them dirty little motorized sticks will show up. Okay, now that we know that there's snakes, we know to be a lot more careful when we're in rock outcrops and whatnot. Now, if you don't know anything about rattlesnakes or venomous snakes in general, they tend to like to sun on rocks and in areas that are, well, areas you're likely to head to. I always got a story about a girl that I went on a survey with. She sits down on a rock, and the rest of us see that there's like five rattlesnakes underneath this thing. Like, there's a bunch of snakes under this rock, and the snakes are all sleeping. They haven't seen her yet or smelled her. And so we're like, uh, don't freak out. 
but lift your feet very slowly. Get on top of that rock, and then jump in our direction, please. And she's like, okay, because we didn't want her to panic or anything. If we're like, snake! You know, she's going to freak out and start moving quickly and wake him up. And so she does it, and then we tell her to turn around and look. Gaggle of rattlesnakes up underneath that rock that she was sitting on with her feet, probably a good foot from him. It was like, man, gnarly stuff. Ain't hey, nobody ever got bit by a snake while I was on survey, but we had a couple close calls. I found a dead snake one time, a dead rattlesnake, and then I put it outside my buddy's tent so that when he woke up, he was like, oh, fuck, and freaked out. But that's just because I'm an asshole friend. I mean, you get bored out there, man. You get bored out in the wilderness. You gotta find stuff to do, otherwise you aren't gonna make it. You gotta find things to occupy yourself. Occupy a bored mind, and there's either that, marijuana, or, like, tobacco. And it's like, well, what else are we gonna do out here, you know? Then we started bringing potato guns and, like, firearms when we would go out, and that's when it just starts getting rowdy. That's when it starts getting a little too rowdy. Let's not get bit by a snake here today. I think there's only the one snake, and he's over there by the rock. And so if we leave him alone, we shouldn't have too many problems to deal with. What side are the coconuts on here? There's a coconut right there. There's two coconuts, but that's that's a snake-infested coconut. I don't really want snake-infested coconuts if I can help it. Uh, this one looks manageable. Oh, I can't turn my camera in the direction I need to grab that coconut. That sucks. Okay. Well, that's a little bit of a bother. I don't know how I feel about that. I just wanted to grab the coconut, and they're making it all complicated. I don't want to chop down a tree to get a coconut, you know? There we go. I should have the angle on this one. Oh, I'm out of space. Okay, never mind then. I'm climbing a tree with a full backpack like the nerd that I am. Uh, my name is Splattercat. This is an update on the 2017 version of Stranded Deep. If you like Stranded Deep, I will continue with a few more episodes. Leave me lots of comments and all that kind of stuff to let me know if you are in support of this idea or if you're like, hell no, I hate that idea. Go die, Splattercat. And I'll be like, okay. I'll see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. Bye-bye, everybody.